And people deadly peek this a lot, so it's actually not a, a trivial not angle to hold. No more. I say, is this guy's literally swinging his knife as he peeks? <laughs> what? <laughs> this dude is right clicking with his knife. Wait, you're facing Fang. You're facing Fang. <laughs> He's playing Sova. This right here is Wuhujin. If you guys don't know who Wuhujin is, he's a Valorant content creator whose content mainly centralizes around Valorant coaching. In my opinion, he is the best Valorant coach in the game right now. He has tutored so many students of so many different ranks and has risen their ranking to insane heights. I myself have been watching him for a hot minute now, maybe a few months at this point, and I'm a pretty big fan of his content. But I'm not even capping. Dude is like the Albert Einstein of Valorant coaching. He just has the right advice to give each and every player he gets, and it's always different. And I don't even know how this guy is this smart because he's a talking banana. Seriously, how the fuck can a banana do that? So if you're familiar with my content before, you know I've gotten Valorant coaching in the past, and I've been hard stuck diamond for a pretty long time. My goal by the end of this year is to make it to Immortal, which is like the second highest rank division in Valorant. And that's where like the best of the best players are. That's like where you start getting like these top level content creators, top level streamers, and even some pro level players as well. Hands. But before I even do that, I have to make Ascendant, which is like the third highest ranked division in the game. And no matter what I was doing, whether it was switching to my character, whether it was grinding aim labs and aim training forever, I just couldn't figure out how to get past Diamond. And I had been getting coaching from my immortal friend. I had been getting coaching from Royal G, if you're familiar with his content. I just couldn't figure out what was the secret sauce to get myself that lovely, lovely green ring. So finally I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go to the banana. Now Wuhujin does free VOD reviews and he has a pretty complicated system to do so. But once I managed to figure everything out, I finally managed to get a VOD approved. This was it. I was about to tap into the fountain of knowledge, the secret well that Wuhujin was gonna bestow upon me. Let's just say I got fucking roasted. Who approved this VOD? Why is this approved? You're not even playing, Fang. What is this? You're not playing. It took you 25 seconds to realize your team is stacking. What are you thinking about? <laughs> you gotta switch to the default knife, dude. Bro. Oh. What are we doing? What are we doing? Again, why did we just wait 22 seconds? What are you doing? Now you're just lucky that Sage is here, do you see? But also, how are you gonna bait for her? What do you mean you'll bait for her? And shocker, your Sage is in a fight immediately. I don't know if you saw, but your Sage fought this guy. How did you bait for her? You're, there's no plan here, man. Dude, unbind this. Yeah, now your Sage has no idea what she's doing. And if I were your Sage, I'd also have no idea what you wanted me to do. Now to be clear, if I was your Sage, I'd be like, sounds good, Phoenix. I'm going to tuck in this cubby. Can you just jiggle along here for me and then just run away and stay alive? Then go back yellow and flash off me. But see, that's what I would come. But you're in diamond too, so you can never queue up into me because you're too low elo. I personally feel you failed the submission requirements for pre-round planning. You spent the first 20 seconds of most rounds just whipping your knife out and swinging it around please stop that is really <laughs> loud <laughs> even though this all sounded bad i was happier than ever finally i had something tangible to work on i had focused on working on so many different parts of myself as a valorant player that i really didn't have one thing to focus on now i had been binging valorant coaching content for a while i had been watching hujin's content i had been watching royal g's content i'd be binging od26's content which all of which had helped me get a little bit better fundamentally at Valorant, but I wasn't sure what to laser focus in on myself as a player. So even though I got completely fucking roasted by him and his Twitch chat, I had something to work on. So first things first, I have to figure out this dilemma I currently have of, since I, I'm so in love with my knife, apparently, which is true, because it's just so distracting and beautiful. I've decided, you know, why, why not just put on the default knife? But I had a better idea. I have this yucky ass battle pass knife that is not upgraded. It is disgustingly colored. Whoever fucking made this the default, you should be ashamed of yourself. Gross ass fucking Play-Doh knife, Nerf ass knife. I am going to equip it and I'm going to keep this knife on until I make Ascendant. So, I had recorded every single game I had played from there on out, motherfucker. 
And ever since that moment, I had been recording every single game I played and grinding the hell out of my pre-round comps. I didn't know if they were good, I didn't know if they were bad, I just wanted to make sure my team had a rough game plan of what we were trying to do and how we were going to win the games. Still though, despite doing all of this, I had been doing my pre-round comms, I stopped fucking around with my knife, I didn't know what else to do because I was still stuck in diamond. So I had to go back to Daddy Hujin for a second VOD review. Phoenix on Icebox, ouch. This is probably Phoenix's worst map. Evidently not for you though. Your Phoenix main on Icebox is your best map? What? Your username looks familiar. Oh, I knew it. He always knows. Oh. <laughs> this was you. This was you. Okay, 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 okay. You were the guy who was just whacking your knife around and I closed your VOD because it was really annoying. You may be wondering. Boom. Why doesn't he have the default knife on? I thought he said stop playing with the knife. And the answer's simple. This knife is fucking disgusting, so there's no shot I'm playing with this shit. <laughs> Raze, can you nade this off rip? I'm gonna run this bitch over. Bang with the tech. Right oh. <laughs> I mean, you had this shit coming. You even cleared... Like, you're so thorough that you're going to clear this as if, like, they're Yoru TP'd here at the start of the round or some shit. Like, I don't know how else you could get here that fast. And then you're like, okay. I mean, you have it coming. I highly doubt that they're boosted. I'm not going to lie. It's way more likely that they're just legitimately diamond. I've seen enough diamond gameplay to know that they're not doing anything out of the norm oh, for the CLO. Nice kill. Bro, I know why Icebox is your best map. <laughs> We're three rounds in and you have not even cast this ability. <laughs> so the map where this ability matters the least, you win the most. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Ulting is fine. But you're around the corner right now. You just threw away your ult. We're going to run a prediction chat. Does he flash before round eight? Wow, a lot of no's. What round is it now? Round four. Oh, Who's she's round nice four. Fucking. We have not yet up. flashed. Okay. All right, no flash that round. No flash that round. No flash that <laughs> round. He did not flash before round eight. Fang, what are you doing? You're literally not even playing Phoenix. You're not even playing Phoenix. You're just playing Reyna. Except even Reyna has a flash. You're not even, you're not using any abilities. This is your strongest ability. This guy's literally doing no abilities to ascendant challenge account. Except it's his main and it's not a challenge account. What is this? Oh my god, he flashed. You flashed when you're full what? clomping out with a Phoenix ult, and so there's nobody here. Those are the first two flashes I've seen. Oh. <laughs> no way, dude. Your immortal friend tells you you don't use util nearly enough, so he's going to have the biggest I told you so moment with you. <laughs> wait, wait. You're telling me you got a buddy who's immortal, and he's like, yo, you don't use util enough. And you're like, fuck you. I'm going to the banana. I think I use util just the right amount. <laughs> no, you died to a classic. <laughs> you guys think he flashes again this round? Or this half? Or wait, wait, bang, bang, bang. We're, we're going to math it. We're going to math it. So the, uh, you use three flashes that half. So that would be 0.25 flashes per round. Fine, fine. We'll watch a different map, but we'll only check the first six rounds. How about that? Oh, that's one flash. Oh, that's two flashes. Oh, that's three flashes. Dan he used as many flashes as you used that entire half in two rounds. Use your utility. It was so obvious the entire time, right? Just use your util. Phoenix is a flash agent. So how the hell do I expect to be getting kills without using these flashes? It was such simple advice, but I had already gotten so far with the knowledge I knew from Valorant already, all the way up to Diamond. I figured what would happen if I started using my util a lot more? How high could I go? And I just started fucking running, bro. What's up, who gene enjoyers? I just wanna know, I wanna let y'all know that I read the YouTube comments 
guess what else I read? I read the stream chat. Watch my flashing. One enemy remaining. Let's go! Right, let's go. Fly in my face. One flash on the 80 on race, 80 on race, and then 60 on him. Winnable, winnable. Nice! Watch your eyes! That's another! Nice. Uh, no, I It's just him, the rest are safe. Just coming out of here. That counts right. I'll, I'll go for another one too if you're not convinced. If you're not convinced that I'm different now, that I've changed, that I've evolved. Come on, let's go! Are they pushing on B side? Yeah. I got two. Careful now. I got one flank. How'd that not heal you more? One flank, one flank. One flank. Nice. Oh, I didn't hit him for anything, bro. I think there's both. Don't play there, yeah. One enemy remaining. Damn, last one long. He's coming. Player standing. Shut Damn, dude. Good shit, nice ace, man. Nice. We're mollied off. Blank. Nice, nice. Okay, now play safe. 4v2. Yeah, yeah. One more heaven, one more Somebody heaven. check flank. Nice, nice GG, let's Jeez. go! I had finally done it. I had finally made Ascendant after multiple acts of not being able to break out of that purple ring. The grind doesn't end here, unfortunately. We still have to keep going till Immortal. I'm going to keep grinding until I make it, and I'm going to keep working on my Wuhujin homework so that way I can get more of those sweet, sweet VOD reviews to get that sweet, sweet nectar, that knowledge that I need to keep propelling me higher and higher in the Valorant ranks. At the end of the day, I want to be the best possible player I can be, and as a byproduct of that, make some of the craziest Val content ever. There's not a lot of Phoenix players out there making content. There's one, it's XTR, and he's fucking godlike, but we need more Phoenix players in this world. Thank you so much guys for watching this video in the first place. If you did enjoy it and want to see more content and keep up to date with the content that's being released, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to click the bell as well. That way it'll notify you with push notifications so you know when the videos come out. I want to give a big shout out to Wuhujin for being such a great Valorant coach and making such amazing content. He is easily one of the hottest rising Valorant content creators out there right now. And I think you guys should give him some support. If you guys want to catch some of my live games as well, you can go to twitch.tv slash fan9s. I stream pretty much primarily Valorant there right now with some other streams here or there. I'm going to keep trying to release content this entire year. Just stay on the grind. See what I can make out of this year. I appreciate all of you guys. Have a fantastic day.